piano. Or we can play jingles using a set of um, like a peace sign or whatever you really want. We only have five fingers, so to play ten notes, we use a kind of a shift button to function each key for two. So if I do the thumb over here and then I press the button, it puts it over there. So we can play the low notes with the button in, and then we can play the high notes with the button out. So these are bend sensors that change resistance, and we store the value of whether the finger is bent or not on the pick and send it out as a binary number from this wireless transmitter with an antenna here. And the wireless receiver is in the back of the box that talks to the pick in the box. So once the pick gets its signal, it sends a signal to the relays we have in the back. And the relays open up and send 13 volts from our power supply here through the solenoid. So it's, it's basically just a coil of wire with a core hung underneath it. I'll just have bent my, all my fingers. But <laughs> the magnets attached to the top. And then we just hang them down through the coil, and we put current through that solenoid to move them down. And while the, the strings seem a little random, we actually use the angle of the strings to tilt the core inside the solenoid just enough to get us some damping. That way they don't bounce when you play notes, because normally they would they'd bounce kind of like that. So we have two LCDs. We have a character LCD and a graphic LCD. And the character LCD displays a welcome message and the note that you're playing as you as you move your fingers. Um, it also displays a message from our temperature sensor, which is just a thermistor with a, trip set, a, a set trip point, um, to tell you that it's too hot and that you can't play because you need to wait for the system to cool down. And the graphic LCD displays some pictures that we drew of a treble clef and a stack and some notes. You can watch it draw each character as it goes so from the commands that we gave it. The graphic LCD is controlled by, by a serial communication through our PIC, um, which talks to an Atmega chip on a serial backpack, which is talking to a Samsung KSO chip on the LCD itself. So in the serial backpack, there's a set of commands, like draw commands, so like lines and circles and boxes. So using those commands, I pulled out coordinates of what I was trying to draw and you know at the appropriate resolution to draw a picture. Our automatic sensor is a temperature sensor will override the system if it gets too hot. So to simulate that, we have our hair dryer here. And when that happens, LCD displays the message that it is too hot. No more magic. <laughs>